Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to Connecting with Your Inner Feminine. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And this is not dated for any specific time as time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So whenever you come across this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time. Yes? All right, guys. So. True to form here, we are connecting with our inner feminine energies, all right? So everybody, whether you're a man or a woman, you have inner feminine energies. You also have inner masculine energies. And if you would like a look into connecting with your inner masculine, just go ahead and check out that reading. But this reading specifically is for the feminine energies, yes? So we're gonna be looking at a few, a few different things. I have a number of tarot decks and an oracle deck here. And I have four different questions that I'm gonna look at to help you gain a better understanding of what is going on with your inner feminine energies at this current moment in time or whenever this reading resonates for you. And then I'm gonna be closing the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Love Your Inner Goddess deck, yeah? All right, so um, I just wanna get moving here. Most of us should know the deal here. We're looking at your inner energies, okay? You could get a look at what could be potentially going on with a counterpart in the external, but that is not the intention here. The intention here is to help you get a deeper and stronger understanding and connection with your own self. Yes? Excellent. So with all that said, let's just get started. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the feminine collective. Please bring forward the best message to the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please help us gain a clear and accurate representation of what is going on with our inner feminine energies. And please bring forward the best guidance you have for us in terms of that. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so before I get started, before I, I, I wanna explain to you what I'm seeing in my head. So when I do these channelings for the masculine or the for the feminine, I do use colors to help distinguish, and I am <laughs> using the stereotype of pink for feminine, blue for masculine. It's fine, it doesn't matter, it's just a mental construct, it's just a way of helping us focus, okay? There is really no bias intended there, however, as I've been trying to just focus on the feminine energy, I keep seeing blue. The masculine is coming into the fray here. So it seems that for the collective here, or for those whom I'm channeling for, it's getting hard to distinguish between the masculine and the feminine energies. And that's exactly what we want, all right? Excellent, so this is a good thing. It's just gonna make things <clears throat> a little challenging for me as a reader, but you know what? I like it because it means that we are making progress yes excellent so for the feminine energies for your inner feminine energies the first thing i want to look at is what is your is her current energetic state what is the energy the power that your inner feminine energy is standing in is embodying yes for that i'm using the uh book of shadows tarot this is the so below deck as this is a two-part deck, right? As above, so below. This is the so below. This is more closely um, illustrated towards the traditional tarot, right? Okay, excellent. So in terms of your inner feminine, what is her current energetic state? Let me give this five shuffles here for your inner feminine. What is her current energetic state? Two. Three, whoops, four, and five. You know, I'm seeing yellow energy, which to me is indicative of clarity. Um, I feel like your inner feminine energies may have recently come into a place of strong clarity. I'm hearing understanding what she is meant for. And in that, in terms of that, I'm feeling under, having coming to a deeper understanding of what you are meant for or what your purpose here is or what you could be doing to fulfill, to, 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 to do your role or play your part in the um, 
in the continuation of our ecosystem and, and just the, the, the and all of that stuff, okay? The propagation of our ecosystem, the survival of our planet, the, all that kind of stuff. Let's see. What is the current energetic state of your inner feminine energies? What is the current energetic state of your inner feminine energies? The Two of Swords. Okay. And the Eight of Wands. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Wow. Okay. Overall energy is the Nine of Cups. That's beautiful. All right. That's satisfaction. That's wish fulfillment here. You have the Two of Swords with the Eight of Wands. You also have the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Then we have the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is an interesting energy. I'm going to start right here with the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Three, three, three. That, my friends, is a master number. Okay? Three is a number of building. Three is a number of partnership, of teamwork, uh, 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 of also the Ascended Masters. Okay? It seems that you're, the feminine energies here are really either... Working very closely with the masters, the ascended masters, or maybe even working on becoming an ascended master herself, his or herself. I don't know. doesn't matter. That's pretty cool, though. Um, but what it is saying here, three of swords, right, is pain, heartbreak. Even You could even say failure, although I don't really see anything as a true failure because ultimately you learn from it or you have the ability to learn from it, okay, whatever you've been through. But what I'm seeing here is three of swords is an energy of heartbreak, which has led you towards a union with spirit, body, mind, and spirit, yes, in the three of cups, which is then leading you on this path of self fulfillment but also self mastery with the three of pentacles all right i feel like the feminine here is very focused on rebuilding her life his or her life okay we're talking i'm gonna i'm gonna keep saying her life because we're talking feminine energy but keep in mind that this is not gender everybody's got feminine energy everybody's got masculine energy here okay so you could be a man watching this and working on connecting with your inner feminine energy okay but the feminine right now at this current moment in time or for this collective that i'm channeling or for the message that someone needs to hear here the feminine is in the process of rebuilding herself and mastering herself from a place of heartbreak which you can say is from a place of contrast Nobody wants heartbreak, but experiencing heartbreak helps you to align with that which you truly desire. And thus, you have the Nine of Wands, which is a, a perseverance energy. It's the wounded warrior energy, okay? Um, even though the Nine of Wands is a little bit of a troublesome energy, it does indicate some sort of struggle. I don't really feel like there's much struggle here anymore because I feel like there is a sense of calm that has come over, especially in this Two of Swords energy, but we'll get there in a second. There's a sense of calm, um, and I also feel like the Feminine has, has worked enough to where she's actually quite proficient with this whole process. Okay, moving forward here, you do have the Two of Swords with the Eight of Wands. The Two of Swords in this deck is very interesting because it can represent mental balance. You do see how this individual here is meditating. But you can also say that the Two of Swords is a moment in which someone is, there's a bit of indecisiveness. Um, and actually, this is something that's been coming out quite a bit lately for the collective in the Two of Swords. There is an energy of not quite seeing exactly which way to go. With the Eight of Wands here, I do feel like there is a lot of communication with the universe, with source, with your higher self that is leading you to, or leading your feminine energies in some direction towards some sort of movement. But also I'm getting that it's helping you define the next steps on your journey with this Two of Swords energy, okay? And finally, you have the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is self-love. The Knight of Cups is sharing that love, being expressive. Um, but here, this Knight is daydreaming. It's just kind of hanging out under a tree, lost in his, his thoughts. And I really feel like the feminine energy here is very much in tune with her own emotions and is taking the time that is necessary to really get in touch with her dreams. So I do see this Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups energy as very closely related to the Two of Swords, Eight of 
wands energy okay so in this case you do have someone that is um daydreaming with the knight of cups but then with the two of swords this is daydreaming with a purpose trying to understand or figure out or flesh out the next steps in terms of what it is your heart truly desires all right and between this three of pentacles three of cups energy three of cups being a um a union of body mind and spirit I'm sorry, that's the Three of Swords. Three of Cups being the union of body, mind, and spirit. I do see as this, I see this as kind of a celebration on behalf of the universe for you. Very happy to see you that you have arrived here and are willing to co-create with us. That's what they're saying, all right? Between that and the Three of Pentacles, this is definitely co-conspiring with the universe here and or communicating with the universe, Eight of Wands, to help you flesh out your ideas and really get you moving in terms of what it is your heart desires, Ace of Cups, okay? And ultimately, that is bringing you wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. However, I do feel like it, the feminine is just kind of like resting in this Nine of Cups energy right now, which is really quite beautiful, okay? It's really quite beautiful. It feels like your inner, from the feminine perspective, internally, you've reached some sort of happiness and satisfaction on your own that is, in fact, facilitating this process of trying to understand or, or going deeper, all right? Really getting in tune or in touch with your emotions and what it is you desire to manifest. That's beautiful. That really is quite beautiful. All right, moving forward. So let's now, what I want to look at, I, let's look at um, what is what are the challenges that your inner feminine energies are currently facing. Let's give five shuffles here. One, two. What are the challenges that your inner feminine energies are facing? Three. Four and five. What are the challenges that you, ooh, wow. We're gonna take this, wow. Well, I would hardly call this a challenge and yet it is still, I can still feel how it could be a challenge. This is just a flyer. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to describe, I'm going to explain this and then we're going to put this back. We're going to shuffle a little bit more and then I'm going to get it more of an official message. But you have the Hierophant in reverse, okay? To me, this is a graduation. Coming out of some sort of lesson, but also stepping out of the norm. And this mainly is the norm for you so whatever was normal for you whatever was and this almost feels like an, an an auto it's referring to some sort of autopilot energy and it probably has a lot to do with social and familial conditioning well you i mean there's this certain trajectory that you can go about something and everyone's just expected to follow through with that and anyone that goes off the beaten path is kind of looked at like they're crazy well not anymore or at least in this case that's not something you're concerned with or at least that's not that's definitely not something that your inner feminine energies are concerned with because the feminine energies are the cardinal energies cardinal energies are trailblazers okay you can look at that in the in astrology as cardinal energies or cardinal signs would be Aries, Capricorn, and Cancer, right? These are cardinal energies. These are trailblazers. These are individuals that are not afraid to try something new. The Hierophant represents masculine energy, which also represents a fixed energy. And because this is reversed, there is a rejection of some sort of fixed way of doing things. You have the Ace of Swords, which is knowledge, which in this case is indicating spiritual universal wisdom with you being in this two of swords eight of wands energy here meditative and communicating with the universe you're gaining knowledge you're gaining insight you're gaining awareness you're having epiphanies you're having those aha moments you're having those light bulb moments where you're starting to see things differently okay the ace of wands is inspiration to move in a new direction off the beaten path and this doesn't have to be anything crazy a crazy in terms of like society and all that, but it's definitely something that's different and new for you, okay? 
that's a beautiful energy. So that's, but that's what your, your inner feminine is being ch challenged with. And again, with this sense of security that I'm picking up for the feminine energies here, it doesn't really seem like it's all that challenging. The real challenge here is dealing with the opposition of others and the unknown circumstances that can come from that because you never know how someone may react to you or what it is you're doing with your life, right? That's really the only challenge I'm feeling here, all right? The feminine is really blazing some trails here, y'all. And if you really want to connect with your inner feminine, then you've got to be okay with that. You've got to be willing to take the ride. You know what I mean? One last shuffle. So what are your inner feminine energies challenged by at this current moment? What are the challenges? Okay. Whoa, all right. Well, there's that Ace of Wands again. Overall energy is the Three of Cups. That's really not a challenge at all. What, and we're gonna talk about these other two cards here also, but what I'm feeling so far is the only challenge here is the opposition that would come from individuals that are not connected to source, the universe, their higher selves, their inner beings, whatever, however you wanna describe it. The challenge comes from the external. That's what I'm feeling here. It comes from people that, are, that have not really achieved this alignment. Three of Cups is the alignment of body, mind, and spirit. I'm feeling that this is, and this is what came out. This came out here, right? Yes, right here, Three of Chalices. Um, this is the al alignment with, between you and source or you and the universe that is helping you to move forward with this Ace of Wands, this, this, this inspiration to move in a new direction. Let's see what these other two cards are. Oh, whoa. The King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups are in reverse. Wow. That is a, holy moly, that is a very strong message. So, <clears throat> the feminine, this is the challenge that the feminine has, is facing. The king of pentacles, society, patriarchal energy, uh, the common way of doing things, the set way of doing things. Interestingly, I'm, I'm, this, it's very interesting that it's come out as the King of Pentacles because the King of Pentacles represents Taurus energy. So does the Hierophant. Now, you might be dealing with a Taurus energy in your life, but that's not really what I'm, I'm getting at here. What I'm getting at here is the fixed element of this energy. Okay? You could even see the minor... You could even... Arguably say, maybe with a little bit of a stretch, I don't know, it feels right, but you could probably even see the King of Pentacles as a minor arcana version of the Hierophant. This has to do with business, with finances, with physically, it could even have to do with gender norms, all right? There was confusion surrounding this, and now that confusion has dissipated. Why? Because I love, I love the way that this is depicted. Upright, this is the seven of cups here. And you see these six cups that are upright here, but then you have the moon energy, you have darkness, you have things not being very clear. That's where you get the confusion from, blah, blah, blah. Reversed in this deck, you have that one cup that is upright and the sun, illumination, clarity, understanding, a choice be having been made even. You could see this ace of cups or this one cup here that's upright as the ace of cups. And looky here, feminines, the feminine has the ace of cups right here in her current surrounding, in her current energies, the energies that she has embodying. So it seems that the feminine has in fact made a choice, ace of cups. And that choice is authenticity. That choice is off the beaten path. But, from a challenge point of view, she is still faced with the opposition of the norm, King of Pentacles. Doesn't matter though, doesn't matter because her inspiration right here with the Ace of Wands, that's divinely guided. So you're good. You're Gucci, Fendi and Prada, got it? 
And that's why I really feel like this opposition, there really, there really, the, really, the, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. The only challenge really that if I'm f picking up for the feminine energies right now is the opposition of the external. Those who, those in power, yes, those in power that don't really want to see a power shift from the elite to the masses. People are actively starting to take their power back. And those who have been in power for so long, they don't like it too much. But hey, times are changing. You just got to roll with the punches. <laughs> okay, so next what I want to look at is what is it that your inner feminine would like you to know? What is it that your inner feminine wants to say? For that, we're using the Golden Universal Tarot. So, five shuffles. What does your inner feminine want you to know? What does your inner feminine want to say? Yeah, this King of Pentacles, I'm being drawn back to the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, for a lot of people, is gender norms. I'm getting that very, very clearly. That's three. What does your inner feminine want you to know? Four. What does your inner feminine want to say at this current moment? And five. All right. Here we go. What does your inner feminine want to say? One card, huh? The Ace of Wands again. Your inner feminine with this is saying, I have a direction and I'm sticking to it. Sorry, guys. I, I, I recognize that my microphone is hitting my necklace. So let me just move this. Okay, hopefully that's better. There's more. I'm going to pull it. I want to see what's underneath the deck, though. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, I really want to leave it right here because what I'm picking up on with this, this is short and sweet, but short, sweet, simple, and yet very, very effective, this message. Ace of Wands. I am holding the torch. I am holding the light of myself, the light of my being, the light of what I truly stand for. I am inspired to move in a brand new direction. And what your inner feminine is saying here is the more that you commit to holding to this new vision that you have for yourself that is being that you're being guided towards, the more you change your environment, you change your surroundings, you change your outcome, you change your destiny. This is literally, I'm literally feeling rewriting a, a whole new destiny for yourself by staying connected to this inspiration here, Ace of Wands. With the world, with not, not the, well, wow. I wanted to say the world, it's not the world, it's the Wheel of Fortune, but it damn, it might as well, it might as well be the world to be honest with what I'm feeling here, with what is shifting around you, you are closing out some major cycles. You are literally, what your, feminine, your inner feminine is saying, we are literally reshaping our destiny and changing our karma for the better by holding on to this new direction that's taking us off the beaten path. Holy moly, that is intense. I love that. All right, so moving forward, last bit of info from the Tarot. What I want to look at now is what action steps can you take to connect with your inner feminine, to further connect with your inner feminine? And this is from the Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. Yes? So five shuffles here so that was one what are uh, the action steps that you can take to further connect with your inner feminine that's two three four what action steps can you take to further connect with your inner feminine and five All right, here we go. So what action steps can you take to connect with your inner feminine? To 
Seven of Wands. Holy moly. Holy moly. The Seven of Wands has fallen on the Ace of Wands here. Both instances of the Ace of Wands here. Protect. Protect yourself. Guard this new passion. Do not let anyone get in and infiltrate it. Your inner feminine is asking you to protect yourself, to protect your new vision, to protect your new goal. Well, that was a little bit of confirmation there, but I'm, I'm getting a very specific message here, actually, you guys. Your inner feminine is asking, is asking you to guard yourself with the fierceness that you've guarded everything else. That may be pretty specific, but this is speaking specifically towards masculine energies, okay? That's what I'm getting here because look at this Seven of Wands. This is a masculine figure, all right? So literally, your inner feminine is asking you what you, okay, is saying to you, all right, you want to connect with me further? Action steps that you can take? Protect yourself. So if you've been in this energy, and I'm getting this specifically, this is how this is feeling, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain it in this way. Um, there may have been, you may have been super defensive. You may have had to be super defensive as to why you're going in a certain direction or why you're doing this, why you're doing that, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. So your inner feminine is asking you to rework your boundaries here or rework your defenses here and start to put that effort that you've been putting forth to defend whatever it is you've been needing to defend put that towards yourself put that towards this new endeavor that is manifesting that's coming through underneath the deck wow is the six of wands and you will achieve victory Ho. Oh. Boy, that is intense and quite a potent message, I would say. It's so funny because for like, for the, uh, this is what, the fifth video that I've done in this series so far? And the feminine always has so much to say, but right now she's keeping it short and sweet. That's beautiful. Okay. So with all of that said now, Oracle Guidance from the Love Your Inner Goddess deck. Oracle Guidance for your inner feminine. Yeah, she's literally saying, protect me. Your inner guidance system, the one that knows you better than anyone else in your external reality, the one who knows your heart inside and out, and out, the one who knows exactly what it is that you want, what you need, and what is going to fulfill you in this lifetime. Protect me, says your inner feminine, with all the fury and fierceness that you've protected everything else in your life. It's time to start protecting your own heart listening to your inner guidance system, honoring your inner guidance system, doing the things that you need to do to cultivate a relationship, to strengthen the communicative bonds between you and your inner guidance system, you and your intuition. Your intuition stems from your inner femininity. Everybody's got it, whether you're a man or a woman. So what action steps can you take? Start protecting yourself from outside forces that wish to do you harm. And even if they don't do, even if they're not wishing to do you harm intentionally, they're still not the ideal guidance system because they're not you. All right, so Oracle guidance here. <clears throat> yes. Card number 31, Magdalene, you are stronger than, than you think. All right, 
Magdalene says, you can experience a feeling of being completely reborn, like a mythical phoenix rising from the ashes of, what's, of what once was, the past completely burned away. It is not about forgetting the past, but it is the reality that the past doesn't have any hold over you. You are being given a spiritual blessing from deep within your heart to cast off anything and everything, without exception, from the past that does not bring you peace. The universe wants to take it from you, so let it go. There is now a brand new you, clean, fresh, and ready to start again with the protective grace of the divine all around you and within you, shining bright and true. The spiritual guidance here says, the divine feminine spirit in you needs to feel cherished, adored, loved, and worshipped for all that she is, for all that she offers. Protect me, she says. Hmm. Hmm. She has so much love to give from her heart through the innate sharing of her innermost self, through connection, touch, and the sacred pleasure of her body. She knows that expression of love through the body are I'm sorry, she knows that expressions of love through the body are a sacred gift of high value and worthy of appreciation and respect. They are not to be demanded or taken for granted, abused or criticized in any way. Some who lack wisdom may try to shame her and judge her gifts of physical love. Some may claim that they are owed her gifts of love and say that she must provide them on demand. Maybe they threaten to withdraw their love otherwise, to harm or reject you or try to justify their behavior with their, quote, rights, legal or otherwise. That is always, without exception, unacceptable and a blasphemy against the goddess. You are a sister of Magdalene, a priestess of love upon this earth. You are worthy of respect and you have the power to assert your value, your purity and your grace, no matter what has been or may be, no matter whether others understand or agree with you. You know that dignity is always yours by divine decree. You need only claim it for yourself. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yes, take care. Mwah. Bye.